Okay, here we go. It's gonna be 20 minutes blender. I'm using Blender 3.4. First, we're gonna delete the geometry here in edit mode. Yeah, and then we're gonna add geometry nodes, create a new instance, split. Gonna do my geo editor here. Gonna split that horizontal. Gonna put our shader here. That's gonna be our default material, so this is gonna be our voxel material, because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna render them, let's say, red for now. The first thing I gotta do here, save that. Voxel. Gonna set the material here, first of all. Set material. And yeah, I'm using all the, all the good shortcuts here. They're set to the voxel material. So, first thing we need to do, create some geometry. Mm -hmm. Let's do a cube. Cuboid. Maybe a little bit of volume cube, actually. We can directly get that in Blender. I saw that. Yep, here we go. That's going to be a volume. We ignore the input for now. So we can set the density here. So it sounds like the Terminator theme, which I like. I'm gonna do mesh to volume to mesh here. That's gonna sample the cube in runtime. And yeah, as you can see, because I'm using Blender 3.4, we can get a real-time output on the on the viewport automatically without anything adding anything to here. So this is actually even going to render with the right material and lighting here all the time. So we're going to set our background to black. Let's say that's a white background for a change. So the idea is that I'm in 20 minutes. Me and, and uh, Muffin Hop are going to do some live coding. Shader on the other end and I am at... The on the other hand, I'm going to do some live noding here. So I'm just going to put this put this plane here and put the material on that. So that's going to be floor material. Let's make that shiny and dark. It's going to be pretty shiny. So let's uh, drop this down a bit. Yeah, and... Uh, I'm gonna do screen space reflections, full quality. I'm not gonna even try to ray trace this. It's gonna be too slow, so I'm gonna do instead the classic tricks here. Do an empty, add a camera. This is the VFX secret, how to do, how to do your perfect camera rotation. So delete the other cameras. No, this one's right, so that camera, and parent it to the empty, and now we can name that. And then, we'll take a look through the camera here, set that. We can also make sure we can only see what we need to see at this point, so passport 2 has to go there. No comment on his friend, little hamster Tico. <laughs> little joke for the Finns and the Spanish people right there. So we're just gonna be kind of, I think, rotating around this. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna, it's a good trick. Set the frame after the last frame to 361. Or, well, 360. And then you should get a pretty seamless loop delete that other keyframe there there we go then we can set this to linear and we should get a nice linear spin on this there we go let's take the camera out a bit it's gonna change the focal length so we can see this our target a bit better scale that up 
There we go. It's doing something interesting. So let's try. Let's mess with the volume here. Let's add some noise. Make some noise. Let's do a noise texture on the density. And that should do something. Question mark. Might need to have to set this. Yes, there we go. Got a threshold to that. Hey, that's looking like cheese. Maybe we'll make it. Gonna be emulating the cool people at Half Bit Cheese. Those guys are the best. The demo scene, 3D artist. Love those guys. We just call this a cheese cube. And that's gonna have a little bit of a sheen, I think, on it. I think that's a bit too much. Like that, we can make it look really completely realistic, but interesting. Let's do some AO on this. Yeah, there we go. Gonna be very precise with the AO here. There we go. You ready to kick some ass? Ding, 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 ding. Demo scene music works. Okay, so we have our basically procedurally generated cheese cube here. We can make it have less holes if you want to make it a little, a little bit more realistic. Maybe tweak the noise a bit. Get a cheesier look. Like it's all, all about tweaking, tweak the parameters. Just right. It's looking nice and cheesy, I would say. Oh. It's gone to the roof of the floor a bit there. There we go. Get that right in there. There we go. Oh, got some stragglers. I think we can do like delete loose or something. Delete geometry. Maybe select loose. Loose. I guess not. Maybe there's a note for that, but I don't remember what it is. This is gonna change the adaptivity, so I think we're good there. I can bring the camera view back. Yeah, I think this just needs to look a bit different. My partner saw my funny disco lights and was laughing at me. Just a moment. <laughs> they are pretty crazy. Try to get the cheesiest look we can. Kind of looks psychedelic on your cheese. This is what you could do, or, or your cauliflower. That's what you do, I guess. Let's get close. Get some resolution on this. Set say, shade to smooth. It's 4 million. 400,000 polys. Set smooth. Got it that right there. How smooth are we getting? Which is 64. Oh. Not bad. Could be worse, I guess. Are we getting more winds there? Nope. Let's sample some resolutions a bit more. Yeah, that should be good enough for 4K. And we can always do... Okay. I'm gonna go with... Okay. 
Okay, 10 minutes to go. Let's see. Let's die through a friend. Combining these two things. There we go. We gotta translate this a bit. Let's move that up. Set the material to what we just made, olive material. Translate four meetups. Sorry, gonna go up on the Y. It's gonna be the Z axis. I think I'm gonna cut, have to cut down on those instances. So, this is the resolution. So, this is faster to operate on. There we go. This is the beauty of the procedural workflow, isn't it? Responsive again. Something like that. Just rotate it a bit. We'll just make a pile of them here. Set this mode as well. Yeah, let's make the cheese a little bit smaller. Low cheese. Okay, six minutes to go. Mm -hmm. Could be like this then, I guess. Then we gonna just intensiate these. Do music. Just make this into another thing. Let's do that. That's the way we do it. Geometry nodes, new instance, copy it here. Well, would if it worked. There we go.
so where is this guy? Zero, right? Oh, that's why. Oh. Basically, we're just gonna do this moments and boolean. Oh, boolean, uh, it's gonna be just join them. First of all, okay, three more minutes to go. It's gonna be a close one to finish. Bit will be that. The radius will be a little bit smaller, I guess, but then this will be not that, not that either. So now I just put load of them here. No procedural olives. Procedural cheese. And we can instantiate this with different parameters. parameters on that and I think that's all I can do so I'm just gonna make them a little bit different sized fuck that there we go change this a little bit they are not completely uniform seconds to go I'm gonna just do a quick pass on the materials will be looking like that do I set the thing no gonna make shadows have to be higher quality there we go that's better and this not rough at all I guess There we go, that's time. I'm gonna render that and stick it at the end of the video. Goodbye.